all right hello everyone and welcome back to another video so before i start the video first i want to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers so i finally hit 100 subscribers and actually later in the video towards the end you're gonna hear me talking about having 98 subscribers and getting close to 100 and that was yesterday i was talking about that yesterday but then this morning i just woke up to 103 subscribers which is incredible it just happened overnight so next video is definitely gonna be a video for 100 subscribers and I'm gonna build something in honor of that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but uh, I'll come up with something but yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much and sorry I haven't uploaded it in like 10 days I know it doesn't really matter I'm a small channel barely anyone watches me but I explained that here in just a second enjoy the video thank you guys all right hello everyone welcome back to another episode on the survival let's play i've missed this I'm, i've missed recording I, I haven't uploaded a video in like 10 days i know it doesn't really matter i mean barely anyone watches me but i usually upload every five days and uh, I, I wasn't able to upload five days ago because my neighbors moved out and there was uh, like worker guys you know cleaning out the house and stuff and they were making a lot of noise and i didn't want that to be in the video so I have to wait for them to, to finish up so I can record again. But now I'm pretty sure they're done and yeah I'm glad to be recording again so we're here at the blacksmith that we created last episode. I've done a little bit of work to it off camera so I added a little bit more like plants and stuff around the building I think it looks really nice. Also I added some string to prevent the vines from growing too much. Also I did a little bit of the interior work not too much I plan on doing more. But this is what I've done so far. So I've added a lot of, you know, basic blacksmith stuff. I added a, another set of blast furnaces right here connected to the chimney so I can smelt more ores. I added a stone cutter or grindstone, some storage, a cauldron, an anvil, and a smithing table. And I like this thing that I did with the, the cauldron. So as you know, when you like take out metal out of a furnace or whatever, in real life at least, you know, you gotta put it in water to cool it off and stuff and then like get it ready to make it into a sword or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I just know you have to cool it off. Anyways, this I did something right here with an armor stand. And I thought it looked really cool. It's like a handle. You put the sword in to like cool it off if it gets hot in the furnace. And I had to name the armor stand so it can be upside down. Also, I did this little ceiling design. I think it looks really nice. It adds a bit more depth to the inside of the building. And I added these windows that you can open and close whenever. And also, there's this second floor. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Maybe like some armory or, I don't know, some armor stands would look cool maybe. But anyways, I think that's enough. Let's get into the actual episode. And actually, believe it or not, over the 10 days that I haven't uploaded, I have no idea what I'm gonna do this episode. I don't know, but uh, I thought it would be interesting to go back into the bunker. I haven't gone there in uh, quite a while. I want to see what I can do in there. I have not been here in a while because I don't really have an idea of what to do in here yet. I was going to work on the library. So let's go down and see. Ouch. Yes, this is the room for the library. I have it set up, but I already made a design in my test world. And I'm not too glad with it. I think I want to remake the design. For now, let's look around the rest of the bunker and see if uh, any other ideas spark. The kitchen could use a little bit more work. There are some empty spots that I could work on. The plant processing room and the water filtration system thing. I'm not sure about this because slimes spawn here a lot and they trample my crops and everything. That gets annoying. And also, I still have this big room that's between the plant room and the fish room. <gasps> Whoa! No way! Oh! I love it! Yes! Did the update fix something about this? Oh my god! If you, if you don't remember, all the fish used to be like at the bottom. They, they wouldn't do anything. They would just sit at the bottom. Look at them! Now they're actually swimming around. Oh, this adds so much more life to the, the room. Wow, I love that. Oh, I can't get over this. It's so cool. Oh, how are you doing? Okay then. Dang, I actually miss working on this bunker. You know what, I'm excited to come back here. 
So this is the floor. I think I want to expand it a little bit more. Right now it seems a little bit small. But before doing that, let me go to my test world and come up with a design that I actually like. I'll be back with you guys in a few seconds. Okay, and I'm back and I have a design now. I went into my test world and made a library that I liked. And I'm going to try and recreate it here. It might, I might expand it a little bit more in the back. So here are all the materials I'm going to use. I want to outline the bookshelves with some dark oak wood. And I don't have that many bookshelves, but I did create a ton of books so I can make some more bookshelves. I'm going to try using some red mushroom blocks. I think they do make for a nice wallpaper looking block. And also the flooring is going to be made out of terracotta. I'm going to use some gray terracotta and some brown terracotta. And mix it up. I think it will look really nice. Okay, so I just used up all my dark oak logs. And I need a lot more than I thought. I just went through like a stack and a half. And uh, I, I'm not finished yet. But this is what I've got so far. These are going to be like, I guess, outlining the bookshelves. And also, I'm not only going to be using dark oak logs. I also want to use some spruce ones. I know it's going to be like a lot of the same color, but... I think it looks nice, even if it is like a lot of the same color. I am going to strip these though, so it can be a lighter color. And then I'll add some bookshelves right here. And yeah, I'm going to need a lot more bookshelves. But I think this is a nice color scheme, I guess. I still haven't decided something for the ceiling, so I'll have to find out what I want. Anyways, I also started working a little bit on the flooring and I added another outline of gray terracotta and I want to add some brown in the middle. They're both brown colors. I think they mix well together so I can make some nice little pathways in the library and I don't know it just looks so nice. And now this wall over here is going to be made out of mushrooms. Again I really like the color of this and I think it would look really nice because there's like sort of a hallway right here and you just look down the hallway, there's books on the sides, and then you see that red background back there. I think it looks really nice. I also want to add like a table made out of jungle trapdoors, and I want to add some plants here. I think it would look really nice. Okay, I just made a ton of bookshelves, and I can still make 16 more. But I, I'm almost out of wood, and this did not give me that many bookshelves, I'm going to be honest. I need to find like another woodland mansion, because these bookshelves are really expensive. And again, I don't have enough bookshelves. Wow, they're really expensive to make. I know I've said that multiple times, but I'm not exaggerating. So since I ran out of many materials, I'm going to go collect more. I'll have to collect some dark oak wood and some spruce wood. So I'll meet you guys when I've done that. It's actually pretty easy to collect, so I don't think you really need to see it. So I've actually been here for a while, chopping down a lot of wood, and I have a lot now. And honestly, I've been waiting for my axe to, like get close to breaking so I can repair it again but it's still there it's still like at one pixel of red I'm waiting for that pixel to disappear so I can repair it and look at how much wood I gathered wow almost almost five stacks I think actually well I'm gonna keep gathering wood and again when that pixel goes down I'm gonna repair it okay the pixel has officially disappeared and it actually disappeared when I reached the top of that tree so yeah now I need to repair this X because I really don't want to break it so yeah, let's go and repair it. And what better place to do it than our new blacksmith. So I already have my three diamonds to make ourselves a new axe. And there we go. And now put it in the anvil. I really hope it's not too expensive. No, it's not. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. I think this is the last time I can repair it because it's at 33 levels now. Wow, that is very expensive. After this, it's not going to be able to be repaired ever again. Should I bold it? Wait, hold on. Let me make this bold. Boom. Yeah, it looks better bolded actually. So, okay, this is the last time I can do it. And here we go. Oh boy. Now, yeah, too expensive. Oh, that sucks. It's okay though. It's still going to last a while. I really don't know if I want to turn it into netherite. I, I kind of do. I'll think about it though. Before I chop anything else, I'm going to think about it. All right, I decided that I'm not going to turn it into netherite. So I'll just go ahead and use it. I don't want to turn it into netherite because it only has one more use, so I mean, I don't really think it's worth it. So yeah, I'll just make a new axe in the future once this one finally retires, and that one will be netherite. But as of now, I think I have enough wood. Look at all this that I've got. Well, I got exactly two stacks of dark oak. Wood. Actually, I'm going to get a little bit more dark oak, 
and I'll meet you guys back at the bunker. All right, and I'm back at the bunker, and I used the dark oak logs. I still have two stacks left over, and this is how it's looking so far. I'm really liking it, honestly. I do have to finish the flooring, so let me go ahead and do that, and this is going to look really nice. I really love the color scheme with the terracotta. While I'm working on this, I do want to talk about something. So I did hear that the Caves and Cliffs update was sadly delayed. Man, that made me really sad. I really, uh, I was waiting such a long time. So I, the, the update can finally come out in the summer. And I haven't explored my world. I really want to explore my world. And and uh, I've been holding that off until the update came out. So I can find some new caves and cliffs. But now I hear that the update is coming on summer. But it's not the full thing. And there's literally no world, no new world generation. Apart from copper and amethyst geodes, I guess. Which is still pretty cool, but I, I'm not sure. I just, I wish I could have the excitement of caves. I have, I've been trying not to look at any videos. I don't want to spoil the update for myself. So yeah, now we sadly have to wait like another eight months before I can actually go exploring again and find some new caves. I oh, mean, that just makes me so sad. I can't believe it's going to take that long, but I do understand. I really shouldn't be surprised because we're still in the pandemic and so I do understand that they're trying to stay safe and stuff and they're trying to perfect the update and make it as good as possible and uh, I, I understand that. I know that when the update finally comes out it's going to be incredible and it's going to be the best experience. So I'm still excited for it but uh, we have to wait another 8 months before we can actually explore again and hopefully I'll still be able to record by then but we'll see. Well, I guess I'll still explore a little bit and try and find some amethyst geo things so I can uh, make a telescope and get some new items. And also copper and all that, I guess. Also, I heard archaeology is getting delayed as well. I don't know if it's going to be like on a separate update, like 1.18 or something. I'm okay with that because that's like a whole new thing too. When they announced archaeology, I thought that was a little bit too much for one update. Because imagine those uh, incredible giant caves and then those tall mountains and then we also have archaeology that's just so much in one update so i'm kind of glad they pushed archaeology back a little bit more but yeah i'm still excited for the update in the summer hopefully it brings some hopefully it brings a lot of new things at least uh i know again i know it won't bring like most of the things but that's all right i'll, I'll try and not spoil it for myself for another eight months Anyways, this is definitely looking nice. I like the feel of this. See, uh, this is the hallway I was talking about. So you're just going to see down the hallway, there's going to be some bookshelf walls. And then you're going to see this beautiful red wall right here. I think it looks really nice. I can't wait to add like a, a table right here, some plants. And actually this wall design is inspired by uh, Dallas's old library. I don't know when he built it, but he built it a long time ago. It was like looking out into the... What's it called? The mine, the mining area. Actually, let me go ahead and show you right now. All right, so here we are in Dallas's world. Oh God, I am lagging. <laughs> Where's that library I was talking about? Or maybe it's this way. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. Yeah, I really like this design. I remember it. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time, but uh, I remember there was a glitch where we couldn't really get this mushroom block. But yeah, here it is. Oh yeah, this looks really nice. Again, it's like a really cozy feel. But anyways, I'm going to go back to my world and keep working on the bunker. I'll update you guys once I get some more progress done because it's going to take a while and I ran out of time to record. Okay, I'm back and here's the progress I've done so far. It may not look like much, but I've actually done a lot. So I think I'm finished putting up the logs and also I put in some walls. I think this looks, again, really nice design. I really like it. And I still don't have that many bookshelves yet, so I, I really need a lot of bookshelves to finish this library. But I'm almost complete. Other than the bookshelves, I also need like a little ceiling design, which I still don't know what to use. But the flooring is almost complete. I think the flooring is actually complete. Also, I decided to add like a little fish area right here. I think it's going to look really nice with some tropical fish and stuff. And right here, I want to add a nice little fireplace. So I already have all the bricks and materials I need for it. So it's just going to be a simple fireplace just like this and then add some more shape to it. And yeah, I mean, that's it. It's very simple and I really like it. Now I'll just mix it in with some granite. I did a missing brick right here. I don't know if that looks too good. So let me just 
put a regular brick back in there. Now we can actually add the campfires and the iron bars, and there we have it. Also, I forgot, I made the table and the little plants. Now I just need to put in the leaves. And there we have it, that looks really nice. And I also brought some other things like paintings, item frames, and lecterns. Let's go ahead and put a painting here. Oh, oh that actually looks nice. I wanted a 2x2 two two painting, but actually this looks pretty nice. I don't know, some lecterns could go good just anywhere, but uh, I'll decorate this area more off camera. Because I, I actually like relaxing and decorating interiors off camera. So yeah, I'll do that. I might add like a little table here or something, a carpet, I don't know. Okay, and now I want to work on this little fish thing. So it's a pretty small one. Now I just need to add the walls. I never know what type of walls to add in a fish tank, but I usually just do something that looks sort of like an ocean. So I just add sand and mix it in with some gravel. And no way, I have exactly enough gravel, nice. Oh yes, the, the borderless textures just make it look so cool. I was going to put in regular glass, but cyan looks really nice too. Oh, and look at that, no borders, it's just uh, so nice. I got these tropical fish from a wandering trader, so ooh, this is the first time I'm seeing them. There you go. Alright, I'm almost finished, I just need to add it all on the ceiling. And then it should be a full water source, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice, perfect. Before putting the fish in here, I do want to decorate this place a little bit more. Alright, here we have it, the full fish tank. So, I added a mix of coral and some seagrass and stuff. So now, let's go ahead and add the fish. Hopefully they don't somehow die. Oh, look at this one. This one's nice. And please don't go outside. Okay, there we go. Wow, that looks so nice. Wow, I, I really love this. Yeah, this is a really nice area. And then I like like the border around it. Ah, that, ah, that looks really, really nice. Man, I just love this glass, the connected glass. Ah, again, if you like it as well, you, uh, there's a link in my description so you can get it. Okay, well, here we have it. We finished the fish tank and the fireplace. Uh, we're almost finished with the library in general. Again, I'm just missing some bookshelves and the ceiling, which I'm most likely going to do off camera, as well as add some more, like, decoration and stuff because i mean these lecterns don't really look good where they are currently but yeah i think that's going to be the end of the video again sorry for not uploading for 10 days i know it doesn't really matter i mean i'm a small channel and i'm pretty sure cloudy i'm pretty sure you're the only one watching to the end of the video but if there's anyone else then let me know in the comments i guess and also thank you everyone for 96 subscribers that's so awesome we're just getting we're getting so close to 100 and I'm just so anxious, like, I, I, I'm not patient, I, I want to hit 100. So again, thank you everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys another time. And this time, I hope I'll see you in 5 days, okay. Goodbye everyone.